Hello everybody and welcome to another Nori Unboxing. I'm Bennett Fitch and today we're going to be unboxing the Amatex Spectrum Mini Lab 153. So let's get into it. All right, guys, I'm excited to get into this because, because this is one of the most comprehensive oil analysis setups for on-site laboratory needs. And you can see a few things here. Maybe you're familiar with some of this because this is uh, one of the most popular ways to set up an on-site lab. It's called the Mini Lab 153, but the few key pieces you see here, this is an elemental spectrometer here. We have a particle counter called the LaserNet Finds that also has ability to look at different wear particles. You have a viscometer, this is called the MiniVisc, and you have the fluid scan, this is infrared data. Um, so you can also look at acid number, base number, water content. There's a variety of opportunities with what you see here. So if you're in a scenario where you're thinking about going from a commercial lab, you've been sending your labs, your samples off to a lab over uh, some time every single month, but you need to wait for that data to come back, this is an option um, because you can take your oil sample. I could have taken the sample five minutes ago at a machine, brought it over here, and within a few minutes, be able to run all the instruments related to elemental data and viscosity and everything else you see here. We actually have been able to uh, do some unboxings on a couple of these, including the fluid scan. So we're gonna refer to that in a little bit, but, but I want, also wanna explain how the TrueView 360 uh, software works, which connects to that. And that's what I was doing just now. Got a cable connected to all of this. It was pretty easy, actually. Within a few minutes, everything was properly connected. I already have some data set up here, um, but I wanna show you just a little bit of the back and forth and what we're looking at. All right, so one of the things that come out immediately uh, to me when I look at their oil analysis reports is an image, this tri-vector images that emphasizes three things about oil analysis. One of them is contamination, the other is wear debris, and the other is chemistry, which is the fluid properties, whether it's the viscosity or the additive content. When we talk about you know, oil analysis and training, those are all three areas of importance. You'll see the oil analysis report structured in that way. So the elemental analysis coming from the Spectral 100 series will give you information like contaminants, maybe it's uh, going to be aluminum or silicon in there. Um, you can also look at the wear elements, iron for example. There's also an ability to look at some of the wear particles using the laser net finds. Um, so that's contamination. Water can also be a contaminant. You'll see that with the fluid scan. So it's important proactively uh, with practice maintenance is focusing on the root cause and why machines fail. The big one there is contamination. Water contamination, dirt, dust, other airborne contaminants. That can be monitored on your oil analysis report by seeing what's in your oil sample. Um, and of course, you also want to see the changing chemistry properties of the oil itself. Whether it's the viscosity, the most important physical property, the lubricant. We're going to see that with the mini visc or the additive levels, coming back to the elemental analysis, you're going to potentially trend some of the additives depleting over time if you know it's being exposed to certain things that cause it to age. So you're seeing everything you need to know about the oil through this comprehensive mini lab system, mini lab 153. Now just as a note, this is, a, this is one of a family of products or smaller versions of this. Um, alternatives to having uh, this and this, you might instead use a ferrocheck, which looks at the concentration of, of iron in oil samples. So, depending on you know what you know makes sense for your your setup at your facility, you can get versions of this. But this is definitely one of the most comprehensive. Now, let's start off with one here. We have the mini visco. The way this works is once you get it started, you have these little pipettes. I'm not going to do everything here, but I would take a little sample here with the pipette. It doesn't take very long. Um, and then I will drop it here on this instrument and then I can come over to the TrueView system and say, run the sample. Okay, so in the system, in the TrueView 360 software, it's pretty straightforward. This is going to provide a fast, accurate measurement. At, you know, we're looking at it at 40 degrees C, kinematic viscosity. Um, so this viscosity measurement, like I said, most important physical property of the lubricant, and it's gonna detect that there's been changes over time. So I just quickly hit play here, give it a few seconds, 
and there you go. With it's showing uh, 98.8 on the viscosity measurement that's sent to Stokes. So that's an important measurement to take first. Uh, if, if there is contaminants in there, let's say fuel got in there, it would change the viscosity. If water got in there, depending on how it's what type of base oil it is, that could also change the viscosity of the oil. As oil oxidizes, it's going to probably increase in viscosity. So these are things you want to know about the oil, and the benefit here is to recognize proactively if your machine is in a potential state that could lead to failure. So let's go on to the elemental analysis. Now that's the big one here. Um, we're going to actually cut away to our other unboxing video to show how this works. Now this type of elemental spectrometer is a RDE, rotating disc electric. Now what I want to show you here is I open this up, there's that disc, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm also going to put this rod. These two are going to be graphite electrodes. And once I put them at a certain width here, I'm going to lift this up and down. There's going to be a spark created between those two, right? Okay. And that spark is going to burn oil. That oil that's burned is going to create light as it burns. And that light is going to be picked up here by these optics and analyzed by the CCD chips in the back. Okay, so I'm gonna pretend like I just ran through that whole setup right there. Here, we're gonna just click the play button and it's gonna get us the data from that sample. You'll see here, you have all sorts of elements. In fact, you, this can measure the parts per million levels in the oil of up to 32 different elements and that happens all within about 30 seconds. So, so it can look at particles, contamination particles like silicon and aluminum. It can look at additive levels such as zinc. Um, depending on the fluid type, you may or may not have certain additives, and it can certainly look at wear elements, let's say iron or copper. Um, so you can see a few of those data points here. Now we're going to connect it to the software later to tell us whether or not it's within the proper limits and what our proper targets are. Um, but that's very important, it's easy to operate. The greatest thing about this is that there's no need to prepare the sample very much. Um, there's not any gases or coolants or other solvents required to kind of operate this instrument. The next one is the particle analysis. This is with the laser net finds on the back here. So let's say I take my oil and I, first I need to agitate it properly. The ASIM standard says, you know, just do this agitation process for about a minute. Just make sure when you follow the right procedure, you're very consistent with that. It's very important. And then when I open it up, I'll just simply let the, the, the tube here dip inside. You can follow some standards here, and it's going to sip up the oil. There's a bit of a, there's a parasaltic pump in the back here that's going to pull the oil through. There's a, there's a drain in the back as well, and so it brings it in. It's going to be capturing visual images of the particles using laser. So let's run the sample here. All right, you'll notice here that not only does it give you the ISO 4406 particle count uh, for four microns or greater, six microns or greater, 14 microns or greater. Um, and in, that will, in this case, was a 19, 16, 12. Um, that's coming from here, but you also get these images. You see images showing you a bit of the fatigue, the cutting, the sliding, the non-metallic, the potential for water um, in the oil, water droplets, fibers, and there's more. It categorizes the various particles that it sees in here um, so that you know what potential wear mode is occurring. This is very important from the analysis side of the oil analysis so that you can properly figure out what the problem is. Not just get data, not just detect that there is a problem, but know what the possible problems are on the machine. So that's very important here with the laser net finds. Uh, and the last one here is the fluid scan. So the, the way this works, you're also gonna use the little pipettes here. You're gonna open this up right here and you're gonna have a drop of oil. Now, assuming that's been wiped off here, we have these little wipes here to keep it clean. You'll do that after you're done as well. You put a drop of oil, you close it up, and when you put it in there, just like some of these other instruments, you hit play over here, meaning it's gonna run this fluid scan, and within 30 seconds, you're going to get the data. In this case, it's going to relate to maybe acid number, or base number, or water content. So this is infrared technology that looks at the molecules of what's in the oil that should be there or maybe shouldn't be in there, including potential indicators of oxidation or nitration or sulfation and other molecules associated to certain types of antioxidants. And the list goes on, including some contaminants. Um, so this is a very comprehensive tool by itself, and you can watch um, an unboxing we had just on the fluid scan because there's a lot to unpack there. Um, but collectively, the, the main message here is that now you're able to, on a single sample, within a matter of five minutes or less, 
go through the steps to collect all this data from a machine you might have collected that sample with the last 30 minutes. And then you have it all right here in the TrueView system, TrueView 360. Now collecting the data here is pretty straightforward. It's just showing you the data. When you're ready, of course, you just hit upload. Now what that does is it sends it to the main TrueView 360 software where you'll see the full oil analysis report. So give me a second, we're gonna jump right into that and we're gonna show you how you can use that data. Okay, so I just jumped into the TrueView 360 software where the data comes together. At this point, really, it's just going to the, the sample point that where this oil came from. So you see the hierarchy in the left. And at pre-diagnostics, you can click on the sample. It's going to pull up the report. You'll see all the data you need with the observations, the diagnostics, the actions, recommended actions. You can see things are already showing up with, at red. So that's based on the limits that already were established. Those are all currently set up in the software already based on the OEM recommendations and following ASTM procedures. Um, but all that's customizable. So you can go in and make some changes whenever you'd like. But they have it organized based on the, what the three categories of oil analysis, contamination, the chemistry or fluid properties, and where to breathe. So that's all set up there on this oil analysis report. The, even the tri-vector image here in the top is dynamic. So those three areas, those three zones will go in or out depending on the severity of the sample that came in. If the oil was completely clean of any wear debris or contaminants or no fluid property concerns, that triangle would be very small in the middle. So that's kind of a quick way to kind of analyze what's going on there. But in addition to that, you can get a dashboard that shows you with also with a tri-vector here and some other graphs, um, some of the views of not just the asset level, but at a plant level and a corporate level. So it's looking at it holistically and how things are changing over time. So you know where there could be areas of where you can improve. Um, so the whole point here is to keep it real simple in how you're managing an oil analysis program, how to run it on site without needing to send samples off to a commercial lab. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Once you get in here, you will quickly run, know how to run the instruments. It's quite intuitive. But that said, if you want to learn more about what it means to properly look at viscosity the right way, how to run this instrument, what it means to do infrared analysis, what it means to do particle counting, what it means to do elemental analysis, then I definitely recommend you go to the Fluid Management Academy that they provide, give you access to with all of their videos, all their tutorials that comes with this setup here. So I really like what Amatech Spectro here has as a whole system to run a comprehensive oil analysis program and build an oil analysis report and trend that data over time. It's very critical to consider this in the realm of condition monitoring. It's a key part that really focuses on what causes failure the proactive maintenance mindset about the root cause of things that lead to failure like contamination and fluid property changes and let that be a, a way for you to make the right decisions on how to maintain your equipment better. So if you have any questions about any of this, definitely check out the links below. Contact Noria about oil analysis program support. Contact Amatech Spectro on how this can help improve your oil analysis program. And we hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next unboxing. Thanks.